you guys and happy homebrew Wednesday. Cheers. Drinking up on that American Hefeweizen I made up uh, a while back. It's drinking really smooth. Um, turns of beer this week. Oh, last weekend we had the uh, the International Uvu Brewing Session Saturday. That was pretty fun. Um, had a lot of fun. I'm sure all the other guys took footage, but I just sort of focused on brewing and uh, chit-chatting a little bit here and there. But it was a great time. Um, a lot of people. It was just such a blast. Um, if you're watching this and you know what Uvu is, uh, Hop on there, join, search for me, search for any of the other guys, and join us on the next International Brew Session. It's just a great time. Um, for beers, uh, in addition to that, well, I brewed up a, my first Irish Red Ale. Never did one of those before. So I just basically followed the directions in the uh, Classic Brewing Styles book. Um, figured I'd give it a whirl. I got a lot of hoppy beers on tap. So I just thought, you know, I'd kind of, you know, tone it down a bit and try something a little bit normal for a change. So I think I'm going to do that. Well, I did that, but I think I'm going to do more of that. Um, in the fermenters, I've got the SJ Boar Challenge beer, the Coconut Porter, the Black IPA. It's based on Stone's Sublimely Self-Righteous black IPA that's uh, cold crashing right now so I'll probably put that to a keg uh, tomorrow or the day after I still have the the Brett beer which was actually my UK smash off beer I made a double batch uh, and half of that batch sort of had a phenolic taste to it so I pitched some Brett in it and it's been in there since January so I'm letting that go till uh, next month or till August. Dan, I'm waiting till August. And then I'll give it a taste and see how it's doing. Uh, so that's there. Um, there's one more. Uh, what is it? It's driving me crazy. There's one more. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's that Irish Red, of course. So, plenty of beer um, in the lineup. All of the kegs are full. Well, not full, but they're all in the keyser. I think the Munich and the Mosaic Smash, that's probably down to a couple liters. Same with the Aragon Bastard Ale. But the Hefeweizen's drinking really nice. The um, two of the porters that are in there, the Breakfast Porter and the Coconut uh, Porter, the first version I did, is still in there. Those are drinking really nice. Um, there's the experimental, um, what was it, orange, orangeicle, creamsicle, orange creamsicle. That's still just in there. Um, aging, lagering, uh, seeing if it gets any better. If not, that'll be be one of the ones I dump for, you know, the the Irish Red Ale or something like that. But uh, yeah. Plenty of beer to drink, uh, not enough friends like you guys to drink it with, so I wish more of you lived closer to me. Um, in addition to that, later this week I'll be putting out a update for the SJ Poor Challenge. I'm working on that now, um, trying to get all the information uh, set up, and I'll email all of the participants because I don't think that they're all watching these videos for the Homebrew Wednesdays. Um, let's see. What else is going on? Got a summer party at work that I volunteered to brew a couple uh, kegs worth of beer for. Gonna be uh, doing like pulled pork, um, some lights, appetizers, pulled pork for the main course, um, roasting a pig in the ground, um, and then also something with rhubarb for dessert. So I've been reading up on that Brewmaster's Table book. And I got to tell you, that's huge. Uh, Garrett, the writer on that um, from uh, the Brooklyn Brewery, I love the way that he writes. It's just so intelligent. It makes a lot of sense. A lot of good points. 
and a lot of great tips. So I'm really getting a lot out of that. So with the uh, the pulled pork dish, you know, initially I gave my colleagues a list of beers, and I said, look, these are the beers that will probably be you know best for this type of summer party. Um, there were a couple pale ales. Uh, there was an IPA, there was a porter, there was a brown ale, there was um, uh, a few other things that were quite easy, all ales. <coughs> but then I narrowed it down and I thought about it, and the more I read the book, I'm like, of course, we have to match the beer to the food. So it's all about beer food pairing. And so I got a, lot of, a couple great ideas for the, pull, for the pulled pork one. It's either going to be a brown ale, or I might actually stretch my experience a bit and go and do a double buck. Um, I really would like to try that one and lager it for a good four weeks, uh, ferment it for you know a few weeks, three to four weeks, lager it for probably another four weeks. The party's at the end of the August, so I got a little bit of time to make up my mind, but uh, that would be really cool. Try a double buck. Double book. Um, yeah. <clears throat> In addition to that, um, for the desserts, I'll probably end up buying uh, something from the store uh, since I don't do sours, but uh, I can foresee something like a creek or a framboise, a raspberry lambic. For the entrees, probably do like a Hefeweizen or something like that. Nice, light, uh, sweet drink that complements. Um, light foods, shrimps, salads, things like that. Uh, anything with the vinaigrettes, of course, that might be a, a saison as well. I might throw in a farm ale in there instead. I don't know. Still brainstorming it, still trying to think about it. But uh, I'll probably be doing some tasting and tests ahead of time. So, I'm looking forward to that. So, for my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. All you have to do is send me an image of you, whether you're drinking or brewing beer or just being yourself or having fun, doesn't matter. Send me an image at toaster321 at gmail.com and you will enter into the possibility to win one of these BrewTuber shirts. It's a great logo on there. And also one of these BrewTuber glasses. Big shout out and a big thanks to Main Brew Guy for giving me a couple extra of these so that I could go ahead and have a second giveaway so fantastic thanks a lot Gary you rock sir thank you very much beyond that I don't have anything else to talk about this week um, the SJ Poor challenge um, is going full speed ahead um, all the other hubs are just doing a fantastic job I know Paul's got an announcement on the voting uh, pages coming up soon. Um, there's just all kinds of stuff going on. And uh, just really proud and uh, so looking forward to seeing this competition unfold and being a part of it. So with that, I say cheers, guys. Have a happy Homebrew Wednesday. Have a hell of a week. And have a better weekend. Cheers.